Sorry about all that. I don't know where the chat is right here, so I'm moving into another screen. I gotta fix this later. I'm, 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 I gotta fix this later. So I'm gonna move on to another screen while we keep on talking about this. Um, Gomer, so I, I'm thinking what I'm gonna end up doing is the next time there's a pay-per-view, I'll just put the link to uh, my Discord, and then whoever wants to come to the Discord, we can watch it there. Well, obviously, I'm not going to be streaming it on YouTube, but we can watch it on the Discord, and it'll be with the sound, so it'll be even better, and it's more private, you know, so it won't be like random-ass motherfuckers, and only people have the actual link, like the woke pack and shit. Super Saiyan Joku, you can finally enjoy it with sound. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so that's just something I'm thinking about. I don't know. We'll see, man. I'm getting tired of getting banned and shit all the time. It's depressing. Uh, but especially because we don't even have motherfuckers uh, subscribe to us and shit. We have 600 fucking subscribers and only 20 views on the goddamn fucking podcast. Fuck you. Uh, but anyways, yeah, uh, we can, we can, uh, we can definitely do it on Discord, uh, next time there's a pay-per-view. I forget which one's next. I'll figure it out and I'll let you guys know on the next one and shit. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we're still weeks away. I don't know. WE has a pay-per-view every two weeks and shit. Uh, it's just an app you download. Super Saiyan Joe Koo. That's all. You just download it and that's it. You get in and it's like a it's like a chat room. And you get in the chat room and you can start. And I share the screen what I'm watching. And you watch it. Just like that. And you can also talk on it. Right, Gomer? I think you were talking. We were talking. We were talking. All of us were talking. So we can actually hear each other and shit. It'll be cool. We'll try it out. We'll try it out, y'all motherfuckers. SummerSlam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Wembley. I, I think SummerSlam's first. I, I forget which one. Is, is it all out at Wembley or SummerSlam? One of them. My SummerSlam might be first. Uh, but anyways. Social media is, of course, at SunnyMan665 for the, for the X. No longer Twitter. Officially. And at the underscore underground underscore broadcast for the IG. And the TikTok is at the underground broadcast. But I'm not uploading shit anymore because they shadow banned us, okay? But it's there if you want to follow it. Just don't expect any updates on it. Anyways. Uh, whatever you send me. Just like Super Saiyan Joku sent me this earlier today. Uh, I will post here. You know, it could be anything. Uh, Super Saiyan Joku sent me this shit, and it said, uh, Okay, okay, son of man, at the Underground Broadcast, you and the fellow woke pack was clowning me for the bud last week. Oh, yeah, that fucking, uh, Labrador. <laughs> that Labrador bud you bought. Uh, so what up now? Labrador strains. Yes, the bag and pre-rolls was from the local Mexicans down the street. It looked like the local Mexicans down the street sold you that ass. Uh, but this white widow chem dog is from another planet. So burn it up, my me cheers. My flowers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. Mar marijuana, hashtag Mary Jane, hashtag your local drug dealer, this guy, not me, the Mexicans, <laughs> hashtag smoke weed every day, oh yeah, um, damn it man, um, I get jealous when I see you opening that shit and, and, and it looks amazing, it looks amazing, uh, it looks amazing, I will tell you this, uh, I think we're getting closer in my state. Closer. Cause I went and bought this crap. I went and I went I, cause I keep going every every time I'm driving around and shit because of my job. I stop at a different head shop or a different one that says C B D or whatever and I stop and I said, What is the strongest shit you have? That's the question I ask always. What is the strongest shit you have? I don't care what it is. Just let me see it. How much does it cost? This fucking little Asian dude said, This one, man. And it says uh guava. And it's just like that, and then it's got a little warning. It's go right, right here. Uh, it's got like a little pot leaf warning, and it says honey bun gelato indica, and uh, it says indica, which I'm I'm not a big uh, uh, fan of indica because to me it uh, kind of puts you to sleep a little bit. Uh, I prefer sativa, but I like indica when I just want to fucking you know just lay around and shit. But anyways. It says a bunch of warnings about that. This is only like 
let 0.3% or I don't know what and that it's legal and shit. Uh, I bought it. And it, it looks like weed. And it smells tons like fucking weed. I mean, it looks just like it. And it smells tons like it. Uh, we're about to try it out, fellas. Oh, yeah! I say this for y'all, motherfuckers. I see what this fucking tastes like. It smells good. I just don't know what the fuck this is going to make me feel like. Let's see this if this is real weed or not. We're about to find out. The guy swore, he goes, this is the strongest shit. And he go. He also told me, he goes, uh, if you need to pass a drug test, I also wouldn't be smoking this. He goes, you'll probably fail. And I said, nah, that's cool. I mean, it tastes like weed. I'll be taking small hits throughout the podcast. You know what it is. Probably shouldn't be smoking. It's been a long time. Oh, it's really, I forgot how thick the smoke is. But for a while, I've been doing the edibles. These are the caps I got. Super Saiyan Joku. They're sour rings. But these have, like, uh, some shit from the mushrooms in it. THC Delta 9 and THCP is in this. Uh, I took two of these. Five, they're, they're 500 milligrams each. Each uh, mushroom cap or whatever. I felt super happy. But I also felt fucked up. Like, I was tripping. Like, I couldn't walk. Like, I thought I was gonna, like, fall over and shit. Or something. I was trying to walk my dog. And I was tripping over myself. And I was like, man, this is, this is like, the stay-at-home type of shit. Um, then I went to another head shop. And I asked some kid who was there working. Some fucking stoner. I said, what was the strongest shit you have? Or that you like, because he was, you could tell, I saw him, I saw his face, he was fucked up. And he said, oh, this is what I like, and he showed me this. I don't know if you could see it, it's hard to focus. It says, uh, Essence Blend. Uh, damn, I'm getting old. 2,000 milligrams of candy, rain, THCA, THCP. Uh, some other shit that I can't read because I'm wearing my contacts. I'm sorry about that. <sighs> You're making me cry trying to read. But anyways, it's basically one of these motherfuckers, you know, and, and, and it's got the little battery shit. And I've been smoking this. I've been smoking this uh, all week. And uh, The vape is definitely smoother than the smoke I just smoke. It is smoother. It doesn't hurt at all. Very smooth. Every once in a while, like right now, <coughs> I might cough. I don't know why. It doesn't even feel like it's in there, but uh, I cough. It, this really mellows me out. I see why that kid likes it. But... All these things that I'm that I'm that I'm buying and I'm trying, y'all. Um, they uh, they're not weed, you know. Uh, Cause I've been smoking weed all my life. There's like something missing from them. Like, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Like maybe the euphoria. There's just like there's something that's missing. Something that makes me be like, ah, oh, yeah. It's the THC. Because that's what all this shit, this shit is not THC, it's THCP, THCB, THCA, it's all this ass, Delta 9s and Delta 10s. I ordered online a Delta 11. Uh, that's something that they just made, and they even said, get it right now, because we don't even know if this is considered legal. So we're selling it right now while we can. They might say this is actually illegal. <laughs> So I ordered Delta 9 to see. They say that's probably the strongest shit they've ever been able to get. Uh, probably the closest thing to being weed. Um, but yeah. Uh, Super Saiyan Joku. Uh, just give me a thumbs up if you know what I mean. That's all I need to know. Uh, but yeah, you know, that's what I, I, I want my state to fucking legalize it. Because I mean, look. this All this stuff I've bought. It does impair you. And I would say that you do get high. It's not the same high. 
it, there's there's that little that little zing is missing, you know, but it's still it's still high motherfuckers and the mushrooms the mushrooms will fuck you up if you take too many I took two and I'm telling you it knocked me out like I was just like man I can't do shit right now I mean I, I went out and walked my dog, but I regretted it because I was falling over and shit people saw me walking from they probably thought I was drunk or something the way I was walking my dog dude um the Chichin Chong gummies, I've seen those. I've seen those. Uh, don't smoke that shit. Homeless have schizo attacks on that. On this? Uh, homeless have schizo attacks on this? I don't know. I mean, it's not bad. It just metals me out. This is not really that strong, man. Um, but I know that in other states, uh, yeah, you know, they sell the pure stuff. And then it's it's like, I guess this is like the, the extract that's in here. But the, the vape stuff is smoother. Uh, but anyways, uh, tonight we're trying this supposed weed that we bought. You know what? What, what really is? It, you know that little warning sign, right? That little warning sign right there. It's it's it literally it's a weed plant and it's, it's an exclamation point. I mean that's to show you that it. I mean that's showing you that it is weed, but somehow they're selling it. I don't know. I don't feel high yet. I think I would have already felt it if this was real weed. So I don't know. this one takes a little bit. But it does mellow me out like I do. Like, before I know it, after fucking, you know, I'm just there, like, just chilling. Like, oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm guessing whatever this fucking ghost shit is, it's probably uh, extracted from uh, uh, Indica. All this shit I've been buying is probably Indica derived because all of it knocks me out. None of it gives me that energetic high that I like. Uh, some Cheech and Chong have some good stuff. It takes four... Uh, forever to kick in regular is not the cheaper well the edibles man i'll be honest with y'all man those edibles all those gummies that i've been taking it takes me four hours to feel it and i i for me i don't know what it is with you guys but i've taken it on an empty stomach and waited four hours and then it hits and it's like it's mid honestly it's mid but i'll take him right after eating lunch and i'm talking about a meal eating lunch and i'll take them right afterwards it sucks because i'm all i hate the aftertaste but right after i'm full that i just ate a meal i take them and it hits harder four hours later i don't know why for me with the food it it, I, it does hit harder like i'm telling you those those gummies knock me the fuck out uh, which I really don't like also. I don't want to be a fucking dead zombie on the couch. I couldn't even play. I couldn't even play my PS4. I was just staring at the screen holding my remote. I was like, I can't even play. I mean, it feels good, but I can't even play. I can't even do the things I do. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, to a certain extent, I mean, you know, they're, they're good. It just depends on what you're trying, what kind of high you're trying to get. Uh, so yeah. I don't know about those Cheech and Chong motherfuckers just trying to make some money in their old age. I wouldn't trust those sons of bitches. <laughs> Damn, motherfucker. Happy Friday. At least I'm getting a bus from the tequila. I know that much. Anyways, thank you, Super Saiyan Joku, for sharing uh, your, your envy with us, you son of a bitch. You lucky motherfucker. You better appreciate every day of your life that you wake up in a state where, where goodness is sold everywhere. Happiness is sold in every street corner and everybody loves one another. You dumbass. Don't you ever fucking feel bad for your life. You haven't made. Son of a bitch. I'm over here suffering, shopping around, uh, talking to fucking browns, getting ripped off for money and shit. Yeah, my fuckers. Cheers. I love you guys. We'll, we'll we'll see how this hits tonight. God, just it tastes good. It's kind of fruity. That's always a good thing. Oh yeah, cheers. <laughs> all right, all right. Anyways, let's get with the comments, man. We're fucking around for content too much longer. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's do this, motherfuckers. Uh, the first comment, it's motherfucking Doug Unfunny. Let me hit it for him. Woke as fuck. Uh, and he left a, a timestamp. Uh, let me, let me hit it and then I'll read what he said. 
The movie is going to start. I'm just going to have this in the background. And sh that was not a firecracker. Uh, no, that was not a firecracker. Uh, and actually, I usually don't hear gunshots on 4th of July or on uh, Christmas Eve or New Year's. It's usually on Friday, Saturday nights. Uh, I don't live in a nice neighborhood. I'm lucky I look like this, so nobody fucking bothers me. <laughs> Believe me, nobody. I'm, I'm the lightest skinned person in my neighborhood. And nobody wants to talk to me or tries to rob me either. Uh, I don't know why. Go figure must be the little shorts I wear when I walk my dog. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, Doug up Funny goes, What the fuck, son? Where do you live? Stay safe, my friend. Cheers. Hashtag. Live. Um, yeah, I mean, I live in the south side, motherfucker. That's where I live. Um... Yeah, it was dangerous, you know, motherfuckers actually, like, uh, not far from it, and it wasn't, it was, because it was a 4th of July the day before, uh, when we did that show, but the day before, and not far from here, there's a car wash, probably a few blocks down, and there was a few families there that posted up and were doing the firecrackers there at the car wash, because they didn't want to do it in their home, so they did in the car wash, and were, they even took the grills, and they were grilling out there, the motherfuckers, but anyways, uh, yeah, uh, the day before, the, one of the motherfuckers there went and went over there, and he, uh, and he fucking went over there to shoot the, the you know, because they, they fucking don't like each other, and he went over there, and he shot the grandmother's house, ba 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 the grandmother trying to fucking, you know, let me kill your grandmother, motherfucker, but it killed the little dog, and that little dog, that guy loved that little fucking dog, it wasn't even the grandma's, the grandma's was watching the little dog for him, and the guy got fucking pissed. And so on the 4th of July, and that family's over there at the car wash, throwing a fucking party and having fun and shit, doing a firecracker. This guy goes by, man, and he goes, pa 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 and he takes off. Arr! The motherfucker shot two toddlers and a lady, and the both kids died. That's where I live, my friends. That's where I live. And I was just down a couple of blocks on the street, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been here for 10 years, and I've witnessed uh, three... Maybe two, no, no. Maybe two, I don't think that one guy died. I witnessed two murders for sure. The third guy, I think he survived. I don't know, his his face was fucked up and caved in. Uh, but yeah. Um, uh, yeah, well, I don't know what they're smoking over there. Uh, the cunt, they could be smoking bath salts. Uh, that's why I asked, what is this shit, you know? And it says right here, man, and don't worry about it. I, I'm, it's, it's, th it's, it's the, th the weak THC, it's not even the good stuff. Don't worry about it. Anyways, uh, yeah, I don't live in a safe neighborhood, but you know the way I see it. As long as you know you you keep to yourself and mind your own business, and, and you don't attract people, you're okay. All right. You know, believe me, nobody comes up to me and says hi. And that's fine. I'm fine with it. Uh, anyways, cheers, Doug. I'm funny. Uh, thank you for that. That happened live. The good shots right outside my window and shit. And I, and I don't know. One got shot. I think the motherfuckers, the party, their new motherfuckers just moved in. I think they just well, they shot the, the the gun in the air just to say, hey, pa, 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 uh, you know, showing off and shit. About three weeks ago, they're the same thing. They just went outside and shot it or something because nothing happened afterwards. But that sounded like an AK man. Like the motherfucker just went out da, 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 just to see what it was like. It was fucking loud. Uh, but yeah. Anyways. Let's see who else is next. Oh, Rocco. Fuck my life. This Satanist. Let me hit it for him. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Rocco. When the Son of Man celebrates the 4th of July video. He says, holy shit, Son of Man. Make sure you fall asleep with Teflon on your chest, man. Cheers. Hashtag. Live. Uh, I've thought about it, but I mean, if you fall asleep, if you fucking get shot in your sleep, because, you know, uh, yeah, at least you were asleep, motherfucker. So it's all right. Yeah, that's just, that's all right. Uh, 
I, I've, I've, I don't know. I know people are stupid that they shoot into the air. The bullet comes down. You know, it doesn't come down with as much force. It still comes down, you dumbass. Uh, that's all I gotta say. It's like a, a piece of metal hits you in the head. And a fall, you know, it already blew up or whatever, the casing or whatever, but it's still gonna come down and fuck you up. Uh, anyways, it'll kill a kid for sure. Uh, those fucking trailers are, are fucking thin and shit. The bullet comes right through it and shit. Anyways, cheers, Rocco. Don't worry, I'm fine, motherfucker. I don't have to sleep with Teflon. Uh... Oh, this is fucking up. Look, it, it got Timmons thing, and it's really old Robo Iger. Let me fucking refresh it. Why does it do that? I hate that shit. Here it is. You see, the last time I thought that you all had made fake accounts, but that thing fucks up from time to time. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... Let me hit it for Robo. I'm sorry. This is all fucking me up. I think this weed is hitting me. Konnichiwa. And Robo says, uh, oh, so on the 4th of July video, this happened live. Damn, sorry I missed it. Glad you're okay, son. Cheers and happy Independence Day. Hashtag. Sorry, I'm hitting the button too soon. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it happened live. Fucking gunshots right outside my window. It was literally right outside my window. They, they, whoever shot it, shot it right out here. And then they ran back inside, the motherfuckers. Anyways. Cheers, Robo! Don't worry, y'all motherfuckers work to my... That's a normal day in my neighborhood. I hear gunshots all the time. It ain't nothing new. And you never hear sirens, or police sirens. They're too afraid to come to this neighborhood, so those pussies. I walk my dog all the time. In the morning and at night. Anyways, Anthony Timmons. Oh, on the Diddy's lawsuit. Hey, that's another thing that YouTube's done. Look, they like censored my fucking Diddy uh, <laughs> fucking thumbnail. I don't know why. Uh, he says... The whole Diddy fiasco is getting ridiculous. Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, it's not ridiculous. It's just insane. The 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 amount of debaucherous, illegal things this motherfucker was up to and shit. It's fucking insane. Anthony Timmons also says on the Son of Man reviews the the House of the Dragon. I don't give a shit about the sex and the gore. I just don't watch it because it's Game of Thrones story. I don't trust him after what they did with the fans in season 8 of Game of Thrones. Screw George R. Martin and his bullshit. Well, I mean, to give that fat, lazy son of a fucking whore a little bit of some credit... It wasn't him that ruined season eight. It was the writers because the writers were in a hurry to go do some other. I, I, what did they go do? They went to go do some movie or some other shit for someone else. And they just wanted to finish it and leave. And they did. That's why they did it only like fucking five or six episodes. The last season was not even a full 10 episodes. That was some bullshit. And everything was rushed because they were rushing to get the fuck out of there. They were like, ah, let's finish this contract. Move on to something else. And that's why they, they fucking dicks did what they did. And you go back and watch interviews. The fucking the actors knew they fucked up. The actors, because they would ask them like. Uh, can you, you can't tell us any spoilers, but can you tell us like a face of what, you know, and everybody would go, you know, about the ending and everybody would go like make a face like, Meh, you know, and, uh, I think one time, what's his name? Uh, uh Peter Dinklage even fucked them over in an interview and he did it in a fucking not like uh, a very satire kind of way where he was supposedly comp complimenting it but it was a dig where he said oh yeah the writing is great i mean i take the women down into the crypt to hide out and he goes the women to hide into a crypt when we're fighting dead zombies resurrected and we're going down into the crypt he goes, it's perfect. 
And I was just like, oh, this guy's digging at them like they're fucking idiots. That is shitty writing and shit when you think about it. Oh, my God. But uh, well, we'll talk more about House of the Dragon tonight, Timmins, because I got to review that ass. Y'all yeah, motherfuckers. Uh, Rocco Fuck My Life on the Diddy's lawsuit says, He's a good boyfriend. Plus, the, and he puts a bunch of laughing faces. Plus, the way you ended it with Andrew. Cheers to the man. Hashtag. Live. Yeah, I said something like, um, because I was saying, like, that Diddy's all like, oh, you want the job? Bring your boyfriend over. He's going to do some gay shit with me in front of you. And then that, that then I, then Andrew showed up in the chat, and I was like, speaking of gay shit, Andrew Sanchez is here. <laughs> that was badass. Cheers, Rocco. <laughs> you fucker. Uh, the, the Star Wars movie. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I don't even know what movie they were going to do, but I know they wanted to do something, and they left in a hurry, and that's why they fucked it up. Uh, that's why they fucked it up, a uh, Gomer. But I wasn't, you know, I didn't even become a Game of Thrones fan until just recently. Like, when House of Dragon Season 1 came out, I watched House of Dragon Season 1, and I got so into it that I became this fucking guy that went online and watched, like, hundreds of lore videos. And then I downloaded all of Game of Thrones, and I watched it all from, all binge-watched all of it. Um, so... You know, I wasn't, I, I probably would have been just as pissed as everyone was from season eight. I already knew from all the videos I had seen, I knew that they had fucked it up, but I, I still watched it and I was just like, yeah, I could have done it. Better. And even then, like, fine, if you want to keep it like this, this is the end of the story. There has to be a continuation. What happens to Jon Snow? What happened to Daenerys' body? The dragon took her away. Is she going to come back resurrected as the Ice Queen? The new Ice Queen of the Dead attacking the Seven Kingdoms and taking her revenge on Jon Snow and everyone have with for taking her Targaryen legacy off the throne? That would have been badass! But this fat son of a bitch hasn't even finished writing the last book that he started 13 years ago! God damn you, George R. R. Martin, you idiot! We're moving on, Rocco, you're pissing me off, we're not even done talking, we're starting with the discussions, we're just reading comments and shit. JB watches. Let's make some new motherfucker on an old video about Rob Liefeld. Is sick with Disney and Marvel. Rob licks peanut butter off of his dog's ass. I'm gonna add that there because he didn't finish it. After he did the first time and this dog killed itself. Ah! <laughs> and he kept eating the peanut butter out of his ass. <laughs> Rob had nothing to do with creating Deadpool, period. Rob is a sinner and bears false witness. He now has to live in sin. Son of a Baptist minister. Such a disgrace. Holy shit, this guy. Uh, ah, this comment's crazy. <laughs> Cheers, JB! <laughs> ah, that's a crazy comment. I don't even know what to say to this. Do you know Rob Liefeld personally? <laughs> Are you in the Baptist church or what? That's a crazy comment. I like that. I like it. I think this is a cool comment. Whoever you are, JB, uh, cheers and thank you for watching. All right, all right, let's move on. Anthony Timmons on the Hellboy, the Crooked Man video says, Yeah, no, it didn't look right. It hasn't looked right since Ron Perlman. Just my opinion. Well, I guess. Well, yeah, because J Ron Perlman has the motherfucking, uh, uh, you know, profile or physique of a goddamn demon. Or ape or monkey or something. I don't know. He looks like, you know, like a uh, caveman and shit. He's got the perfect look. You don't, I don't even think they put prosthetics on him. They just painted his ass red and put horns on him. That's the way he looks already. That motherfucker. Cheers, Timmins. Thank you for commenting, you motherfucker. Timmins also says about Charlie Sheen in that video. 
Charlie Sheen is a complete waste of good oxygen. There's a lot of people that are a complete waste of good oxygen. But you know what? You gotta give everybody their chance at winning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the only motherfucker in life that's winning with AIDS. Full blown AIDS, and that motherfucker's been winning for years. Right, let's keep going. Oh, Gomer Kyle. On the comments video. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. And they, thems. I had a great trip. Me and my friend watched the new Kong and Godzilla. Oh, Foley and Deadpool. Foley? What do you mean? I know. What do you mean by Foley? The, new, the Mick Foley documentary? And which Deadpool? The first one, I'm guessing. So, the new Godzilla and Kong was okay, but colors looked like a unicorn threw up. Yeah, it was too vibrant. It was the worst. 6.5 out of 10. Foley was great. 7.5 out of 10. Don't get the hate I've seen. Don't get the hate I've seen. Anyways, y'all yeah, Deadpool and Wolverine is only two weeks away. Let's fucking go. Cheers. Hashtag. <laughs> Got more spoilers for you tonight about that movie. Hashtag, oh, get ready for this, Gomer. Live. Oh, yeah. I did that for you, motherfucker. P.S. I didn't mention they screened 30 minutes of Deadpool Wolverine. I heard it was great in case you were going to say anything. Oh, I did. And I just dropped the fucking joint here on the floor. I did say it on the podcast. On the on the broadcast, God damn it! I better not disconnect the computer while I'm messing down here trying to get this fucking shit. I got it. I did. We mentioned the spoilers. And we're going to mention more clear spoilers because we got more fucking of a definition of it and shit and ass tonight. It'll be at the very end. Okay, I'm saving the best for last. Probably around 10.30 or something. Anyways, let's keep it going. If not, we're never going to get to this. Gomer says, Charlie Sheen would eat the other dude's asshole. That's pretty nasty. Cheers. P.S. He's probably let him and like it. Hashtag. Well, according to Corey Haynes. Not Corey Feldman. Corey Haynes, the one that's, uh, that's dead already. The good looking one. Well, then he, did, he, he, he didn't age too good because of all the drugs and alcohol abuse. But anyways, when he was young, he was good looking, you know. I wanted to be him. I think Zach Morris uh, modeled his, his character after him. But anyways, Corey Haynes um, claims that on the set of Lucas that Charlie Sheen grabbed a bottle of Crisco oil, lathered up his dick, and raped him. That's horrible. So, yeah. Yeah, this guy has AIDS, and he's a fucking piece of shit. That's all I'm gonna say. Cheers, Gomer. Thank you for bringing that shit up, you guy. All right, let's move on. Gomer also says on the Danny, uh, <laughs> Danny uh, Trejo video, Danny Trejo is the fucking man. He's 80 years old. They're investigating it as a hate crime now. I nominate Trejo for honorary woke packer. Cheers. Nah, 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 nah. I don't want that old son of a bitch coming over here to whiny. Hey, they throw a water balloon. No woke packer is going to get mad when you throw a water balloon at you on a hot day. You dumbass. On your car. That's a free car wash, motherfucker. I like it when it rains. I don't have to get, get a free car wash. I go outside right away and spray it with the soap and shit. And then go run back inside and let the rain take care of it. Oh, yeah. That's free money right there. Fuck you, Daddy Trejo. Another thing is, how is it a hate crime when it was a Mexican hitting another Mexican? Not like a normal day in the neighborhood and shit. That ain't no hate crime and shit. It would have been a different race with a different race. Then you can call, call it a hate crime. An ass. Uh, but yeah. Fuck you, Trejo. You'll never be in the woke pack. You're too old and shit. You're no longer cool. Yeah. And you're not certified anymore, you motherfucker. I'm sorry, Gomer. I'm just shitting all over this. <laughs> Cheers. Don't forget. <laughs> all right, all right. 
let's move on. Let's move on. I'm just being stupid. <laughs> I'd be honored to have any Dreho in the world pack. All right, I, I would. I would. The motherfucker. Unofficial or the official or whatever. Anyways. Gomer says on the James Gunn. I don't know. I'm hating on that piece of shit. Gun can eat a bag of dicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sell bag of dicks online. Look for them. Bag of dicks. I think it's. I don't know if it's. Well, I. I would be careful on putting bag of dicks dot com. But if you put bag of dicks ma mail bag of dicks, the website comes on, and you can just put the name of the person and the address, and they will send it with an anonymous fucking you know whatever it's i mean i guess it's from their company but they won't put your address but they'll send it to that person and with with a message like you know all nice and everything and the message will say you're a piece of shit now eat a bag of dicks or or whatever you want to say and then there are gummies in the shape of dicks ah i said it to a boss of mine after i quit ah, i called my my co-workers and i was like did she get him and then she goes she was mad all day. We 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 just we. She never said anything, but <laughs> we knew what it was. <laughs> I was like, yes, it worked. Yeah, 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 yeah. They do that. They do that shit. Cheers, motherfuckers. That bitch deserves more than a bag of dicks. But you fucking bitch. She needs to get fucking. I don't want to say it, but it needs to happen to her. Anyways, let's move on. Super Saiyan Joku on the Danny Carey video. Danny, Danny Atrejo video. This guy's crying. Who? I don't know who's crying. Like, that don't even be in the fucking parade. You have mad money. You have the money to get fixed or do yourself, motherfucker. Cheers. Hashtag. Motherfucker, Joku, you're high or something. You don't know what you're saying, but like, I, I know what you're saying. Uh, it, it's water, Danny Trejo. What are you bitching about, Pendaka? Hey, somebody threw water at your car. Shut the fuck up. Get mad when they throw a rock at your car, Pendaka. You started some shit. They knocked you and your brother out. They knocked both of y'all motherfuckers out. All because you got mad because of water. The fucking pussies. This is all I'm saying, man. There's motherfuckers out there that are so fucking miserable with their own existence that they will purposely, I don't know, back up or double park or do something just to try to piss someone off so that they can take out their anger on someone else and, and, and get into a fight or cause something or get a gun. There's motherfuckers that are so miserable with their own existence that they will propos pur purposely try to gaslight someone else. And it's usually someone like you. You have to realize that bullshit like that, someone throwing water at your car, is not that big of a fucking deal. All right, you let that idiot keep on being miserable and hating himself and drive away. Ah, that's all I'm going to say. Because people get shot and killed every day because there's motherfuckers out there that are miserable with their own existence. That they have to go out there and look, gaslight, look for something, start something. And those are the people, you know, they're just miserable human beings. What are you going to do with them? They wake up angry and they go to bed angry. They got nothing better to do in their lives. Not even the weed or the, be the beard. Nothing satisfies them. It's just sad, you know. When, when you become that kind of person, that's just fucking sad. Yeah. Lessons in life. Let's move on. Go Kyle of the thank God for Amber Girl Rose's body and her pink pussy. She needs some hair on that bald ass head. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. She's sexy without it. I'm just saying. I mean, she's sexy with it, but without it, it's fine too. Maybe it's more of an aerodynamic for her performed fellatio on her. John's and Jane's. Cheers. Hashtag. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, 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 oh,
I have to see where the smoke is going so I can, so I can go like that. I'm not used to it yet. I, I just did that today. I was like, it looks badass. I'll do it again for you, Gomer. Live. <laughs> that looks crazy. Look at like a fucking acid trip or something. Uh, I think that was the last comment. Let's see. Yes. Gomer Kyle was the last comment. Thank you all for your motherfucking comments. I appreciate you guys. You make the show and shit. Whatever you send me down here, uh, your weed strains or whatever you're you're smoking and shit, that we go show it here. Or you just send me whatever, like Gomer Kyle who sent me this earlier too. Since he sent me this, uh, Gomer sent me this, and uh, it's pretty cool. Y'all ready for this? Check this out. Here it is. If you want to go out and get it, you can go out and get it. Have fun with it. But people do like it, I must say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. That's pretty good, Gomer. Here it is. If you want to go out and get it, you can go out and get it. Have fun with it. But people do like it, I must say. Uh, that's fucking badass, bro. That's fucking badass. Uh, oh, Anthony Timmons is here. Cheers, Timmons. <laughs> and we're throwing you in a wolf pack, motherfucker. Live. Thank you for being here, Timmons, you motherfucker. Let me cheers you on the chat here. Cheers, Timmons, you motherfucker. Fucking interrupting, interrupting the goddamn show for your bitch ass. <laughs> That's what we do when we do what we do, we do motherfucker. Uh, yeah, send me stuff to the social medias. I'll show it off here. Whatever weed you're smoking, whatever you're drinking, whatever you're seeing in life, or just some bullshit like Gomer Cow just sent me. We'll play it on here and shit. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.